Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. So this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading September 2nd to September 8th, uh, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your Aquarius week, this is going to be the King of Cups. Followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week, that is going to be uh, uh, that is going to be the page of uh, ones. Let me just uh, turn off the volume of my computer. Okay, so the page of ones. Uh, afterwards, what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Four of Cups. And then the last one here, which stands for the guidance that Saru is offering, this is going to be the Ace of Cups. Alright, Aquarius, so this is going to be either a, a proposition for a, a relationship or a, a proposition for a work. Or third thing, it is a, about a helping hand that comes around uh, that you may be a bit apprehensive taking it because you don't want to look bad that that's the whole problem here that you may not look that you may don't you may not want to look bad right taking it that in fact you you have to take it but um before we go into that let's run the cards one more time so the first one it is the king of cups which stands for the topic followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here of the page of wands then it is the Four of Cups, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one here is going to be the Ace of Cups, which represents the guidance. All right. So King of Cups. Well, that is a, a very balanced person, really, who does not like to show what their intentions are, who does not like to show what their emotions are as well. And the fact that this person comes around and either offers you something or propose you something, it is a, a great deal. Why? Let's say that this person uh, comes around and shows interest being in you in a relationship. Well, this one, uh, it's, it's hiding their emotions very well and only uncovers their, their emotions to those which that person feels worthy of the emotions they are experiencing, okay? So they find you as a very good match, or let's say that that person proposes you work. So they, that, that means that this person find, finds you extremely fit for what they need you for, okay? Or they offer you a help, because it could be a helping hand that there is no need for you to deny here, all right? If that's the case, then the helping hand is extremely sincere. It's, it has no back thoughts behind it whatsoever. The point here is that the King of Cups comes around for you, Aquarius, and saves the day, all right? It just, it takes you out of your, I don't wanna say misery, but I would say struggle wherever you're struggling at. You're struggling to 
find a relationship? Well, you got your chance here. You're struggling to find a job. Well, you got your chance here, right? But it is a chance. It is a proposal, right? It is an opportunity that comes from this one. And it's up to you should you take it. Now, uh, you shouldn't mistake this as a fairy tale, right? Maybe the opportunity uh, or the offer is not going to be appealing one way or another, but it is in an offer nonetheless. The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of Cups formation. It is a um, passive uh, supporters. So with the Five of Cups to the um, King of Cups, it does look like that this event, offer, helping hand, proposal or whatever, takes place exactly in the uh, area of your life that you are feeling most hurt at, all right? Let's say it's no different than, for example, let's say you recently broke up, okay? And you um, vow to yourself that you will never trust another man anymore, all right? Or that you will never trust another employer anymore, or you're not gonna trust any person anymore, all right? In this specific endeavor, either relationship or career or whatever. And it is exactly where uh, this thing falls up. And it does look like that, um, this king has to do a great deal of effort to convince you other way around. They have a lot to prove, that's, that's my point. Uh, but my call for you, Aquarius, is not to give them that hard time because everybody have a, um, a, a limit to their patience. And while the King of Cups finds you as the asset they need, either career or relationship-wise, they are also very practical people and if it is more than than they know if the if the the whole thing is going to cost them more than they know um, they are going to simply abandon it so then the next one it is the challenge here and we do have another person of the page of one so this one encourages you to drop off the the offer or to drop off the, the helping hand, especially if it is about the helping hand, trying to convince you that uh, you don't need it, that you can manage on your own. That is for the reason being is that the pages in this position especially is very cocky and will try to place themselves as an example that no matter what happens, they stay independent. Well, here in this case, we're not talking about dependency. We're talking about a mutual part. We're talking about a mutual goal. We're talking about uh, an agenda that falls into a similar uh, interest of you and of the King of Cups. Okay, so what the page is talking about, although it may look like they have a point, in reality does not apply into your situation because uh, if it is about relationship, you cannot be constantly on your own. Eventually, you know, you have to end up with someone if you don't want to end up with seven cats, for example. We do have this into our country as an expression, you know, the old lady with the cats, meaning that this is an unmarried, this is a lady that never married, okay? The accompanied card here is going to be the... Um, Ace of Wands, the formation, it is a active uh, supporters. So um, here with the Ace of Wands, it does look like that uh, the page is gonna try to convince you that this king does not deserve you, all right? Either as a, a business partner, either as in an employee, or either as a, a person of interest for a relationship, that this king simply does not deserve you, and that you do deserve something more, let's say, exciting, right? But the thing is so that with this king, uh, yes, the whole thing, the whole new option or the whole new uh, endeavor is not going to be that exciting. But what is going to be is going to be stable, is going to be balanced, is going to be settled. So you have to make up your mind, especially when it comes to relationships, what you want. Do you want that exciting relationship full with uh, butterflies in the stomach and these um surprises that are coming up every uh, on a daily basis you know but in the same time being quite unstable or do you want this relationship that it is with a uh, extremely uh set routine but in the same time you know you have your emotional stability and you can trust your partner it is entirely up to you to decide especially when it comes to relationship so uh the next one it is about the positive aspect of uh, the of the weekend we do have the four of cups 
So the four of the four of cups here uh, tells us a couple of things. Now the first one it tells us that the past that you have been through uh, in this uh, in this field of your life that the king of cups takes place that you are severely disappointed and hurt. All right, kind of left a mark and made you learn your lesson. And the second thing that this card tells us is that there is no need based on this lesson, all right, to miss a new opportunities, okay? Now, in this case, it does look like that your um, mental tendency, if I may express it that way, it's gonna be more stronger than the emotional disappointment. And you will say, well, the heck of it, or you will have that affinity to say, well, the heck of it, let's try it out. What could go possibly any worse than that, all right? I will, if I get end up cheated once again, it's not gonna be the first time around, all right? Or if, if I end up uh, fired, it's not gonna be the first time around. At least I do, have, I do have something right now to look forward to, all right? Instead of um, crying every, every night, or instead of, you know, I don't know, self-pitying myself the accompanied card here is going to be the queen of cups the formation it is a uh, passive uh, supporters and in this case it does look like that you pretty much have in mind you know what you are looking for not exactly what you want but what you are looking for and you are pretty much going to be quite synchronized with uh, with your feelings and with your emotions meaning that when this person comes around comes around you will instantly feel the for example the attraction you will instantly feel the these uh kind of like chill, uh, chill in a sense of pleasant, right? Chill and, and stable, comforting emotions with them. It's like, um, uh, it's like you will feel sense of security and longevity that you can have in, in this business endeavor and this helping cooperation, for example, or in this relationship, depending how that King of uh, Cups manifests for you. And the last card that we do have is going to be the Ace of Cups, which stands for the guidance. And simply here, the Ace of Cups tells us one thing. This is what you have waited for, right? It may not manifest the way you have expected it, but it is what you have waited for. This King, all right, this person, the King of Cups, is going to traverse your reality or your daily routine into very emotionally satisfiable and, and, and how can I place it? And it's not exhilarating, it's more like overflowing of joy kind of, um, kind of reality, okay? So you will like to work with them, you will feel loved when it comes to relationships, all right? Or you will feel that someone have always that always someone have your back when it comes to friendship help and etc etc the accompanied card here is going to be the chariot the formation it is a uh, passive uh, supporters and the chariot here uh, only quenches the the statement the chariot is about triumphing against all odds so the whole thing here tells us is that at the time that your hope and at the time that your yeah clamor was at the lowest point, it is exactly you know when universe proved you wrong. For example, you, you right now, well, while you're watching this, you may think, well, I will never gonna find love again. Okay, maybe this is the feel that you are deeply disappointed recently. Well, you're gonna find love once again okay the universe is gonna prove you wrong of something that you gave up from okay and this something manifests itself through the uh, appearance of this king of cups so that being said aquarius this was your weekly tarot reading guys september 2nd to september 8th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye